Right now, we got a crazy Amoogie dogfight. Check this out. What's up, Mr. Amoogie? You are going down, sir. Smash beyond godlike. I've set up a hangar with nothing but cudgels, mace, and hammers. And we're going to find out if these weapons are still worth using. I've always liked these a lot, but things have definitely changed a lot lately. One thing I will say, when the nuclear amplifier gets up to 60 stacks, that's when these start to hit very hard. We got the crazy Amugi dogfight. Watch the whole video to see some really fun and awesome footage. And this new Titan with these weapons just obliterates everything. Let's go do some gameplay and see exactly how good these perform, and then I'll give you my honest opinion on these weapons after the gameplay. Is he trying to push me off the bridge? Dude. Alright, so here comes Mr. Amugi. We are going to drop right in over here. And I think we're going to head over to the back right. That's probably my favorite spot to go on this map. And let's take flight, guys. Let's get up in the air. Let's make a portal so if our teammates want to come through here, they can. But I'm actually a big fan of these shotgun weapons. They do big damage, especially once your nuclear amplifier gets up to 60 stacks. That's when these weapons really start to shine. Like at first they do pretty good, but I'm telling you guys, when you hit 60 stacks on that nuclear amplifier, these weapons start to hit very hard. Right now we got a crazy Amugi dogfight. Check this out. What's up, Mr. Amugi? Sounds kind of like Mr. Miyagi, but not quite. So come on, let's get this guy. He's got the shotguns too. Check this out. This is actually kind of fun. Unfortunately, there's some teammates over here that came through the portal. I wish this were just a one-on-one -on -one, because I would love just to sit here and fight the Amugi, right? So I think he went through a teleporter. He disappeared. No, no, there he is. Never mind. He didn't, he didn't disappear. So let's, uh, let's wait for him to land. I guess we'll shoot him from a distance because he's over there by all those enemies. And I don't really want to go over there yet. That I think that's a Mars turret shooting me in the butt. Hey, stop it, Mr. Mars. All right, so I'm just a overall really big fan of these weapons. I think they do super good. One of my favorite weapons in the world. And we got to get rid of this Kefri. Kefris are very tough. We got a bunch of teammates over here trying to beat that guy up. So let's get back up in the air. That's one of the coolest things about Amugi is you can fly. You go into stealth and people have a hard time hitting you. All right, we got rid of that guy. So here comes another challenger. Wait, wait, he just jumped out of here. He's like, nope, ain't having none of that. But yeah, these shotguns are very strong. They're very fun. Overall, they just do a really good job. All right, so let's go back up in the air. One of my teammates needs some help over here. So let's beat those guys up. We got a kill. Nice, nice. So far, it looks like the enemy team is... We were winning, but it looks like they're starting to make a little bit of a comeback, so we're going to have to do something about that. We don't want those red dudes to win. All right. That nether is going to go down, sir. Ba -ba 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 Bam. All right, he's running away. He's like, I'm out of here. But I'm going to go get a different beacon. Oh, man. I don't know where that sky rose came from, 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 but I thought that was going to be an easy beacon grab right there. But unfortunately, Mr. Sky rose messed us up. So what can you do, right? We tried, we tried, we did our best, but sky rose came and man, he smushed me. He smushed me. All right, let's drop the remnant. Another one of my favorite robots. As far as tanks go, remnant is awesome, right? Remnant's amazing. One of my favorites. So let's go over this way. And there's a ball on the beacon. Da, 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 Mr. Ball. Come on, we got to get him. All right, so he's pushing me off the thing. This is uh, this is unpleasant. Stop pushing me, sir. That's one of those things about the balls, guys. They are they are mean. They are nasty. They are troll bots. They'll push you around and try to make your day horrible if they can. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Sometimes they they are very frustrating to deal with, but they're still fun to play against most of the time. Alright, so we want to get rid of the both of these dudes. Right now, we're fighting two of the strongest robots in the game. So, the, you know, the, is he trying to push me off the bridge? Dude. Alright, I gotta, I gotta escape certain death because that guy is trying to throw me off the bridge, guys. What a mean, nasty man that is. What's that guy's name? I can't quite read it, but... Whoever you are, I don't like you very much right now. All right, so let's go. Let's go finish off whatever this is. Ah, the Fenrir is back for more. Come on, Mr. Fenrir. 
And here comes, man, the whole team's over here. Dudes, stop ganging up on me. Oh, come on now. That guy blew me up. That was not very nice. Let's bring in our Titan, and we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, we're just going to go ahead and whoop some people, right? We're about to get the Ultra Kill Destroyer of Worlds. This guy beats everything up. I mean, this has got to be the strongest Titan setup we've ever had in the game for playing from a distance. I mean, yeah, the Maha Maha Vajra is still a little bit stronger if you can get right up to point blank, but... With these uh, Glaive and Lance weapons, holy crap, holy, these things just pack a punch. And you can stay back 500 meters and just beat people to a pulp. I mean, I get so many kills from these weapons on this Titan, it's not even funny. I mean, this is one of the best setups in the world. Then we got the Rampage. Love it, love it. Absolutely love it. Alright, so that guy's about to d -d 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 die. As soon as we take that shield down, one more shot, and bam, we got the godlike. We're about to get this guy as well, I think. All right, he's healing and going up in the air, but we don't care. Hello, Mr. Sarah. Prepare to meet your maker. You are going down, sir. Smash beyond godlike. That's nice. All right, we got another guy over here. I think we're going to take probably another two or three or 15 or 20 of these guys. <laughs> out before this thing's over well maybe not that many but we'll see what happens right I'm gonna go up here and try and land on the bridge all right that guy is just about he's no he escaped bummer oh man the blindy guy is after me I've never really seen Aminos running the blindy weapons before that's interesting I don't know if that's a good setup or not I've probably tried it I mean I've probably probably tried pretty much everything but I can't always remember every single build I've ever used, but I think he's going to end up getting me. Between those two guys, man, they smushed me. Well, not so bad. 5.3 million damage, 7 kills, 1 beacon. We lost, but that was still a fun battle. Alright, so let's drop in Mr. Miyagi, I mean Amugi. Daniel Sun, wax on, wax off. All right, let's fly to the back here, and let's go see if we can grab this beacon and then beat some red dudes up. When they come over here, we are going to shotgun them in the face. Oh, Lord, here comes somebody. Let's... Oh, come on, we lost targeting. Not good. Not good. So that seems to be a little bit of a problem with the Amugi, is he loses his targeting. We're getting kind of beat up. Man, that Mars turret's hitting hard. Guys, Mars is still a really good robot. I don't care what anybody says. That thing went into stealth. So I'm going to go back into stealth myself. Where is he at? Where is he at? Come on. Let's get him. B -b 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 no purple shields. Right there. We lost We lost lock on again, guys. So I guess once the Amuga gets to a certain angle, you can't actually shoot people. So that's a little bit of an issue. I'm going to bring that to Pixonic's attention because that's not, uh, that's not a good thing. I could have killed that guy and taken him out, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to shoot the guy. So... Sometimes, you know, it, it is what it is. Is that a Loki? I think, yeah, it's a Loki. They got a little Loki running around. My portal, unfortunately, ended up on the top there. But, uh, I don't know. I like these weapons. I don't care what anybody says. You know, they do decent damage from a distance. Once the nuclear amplifiers charge up, they do crazy good damage from close up. So, let's come back here and beat up these harpies that are terrorizing my teammates. Right there, I can't even see what's going on, but we did some really big damage there till his shield popped up. Alright, he's up in the air. There's another one. There's two of them. So, we're going to go up in the air in just a second. And we're going to try and finish these guys off, because these guys are royal pains in the butts. There we go. We got one. Ba -ba 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 bam Double kill. Alright, number two right here. You are dead. Ba -ba 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 bam Triple kill. Can't complain too much about that right there. Alright, the Seraph... These guys are probably going to take me out. I'm getting pretty low on health, but you know what? You win some, you lose some, but we're going to damage them. Oh, we're going to beat them up as much as we can before they kill us, right? At least we got that. So let's go over this way with the Mars. We're going to throw the turret just so we can get some extra speed. We definitely need the speed. Speed is good. Speed is good. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is... Nope. That guy is dashing out of there. So let me go try and get the beacon. Please leave my little Mars alone. Mars is quite squishy. I will say that. Mars is a very squishy robot, but he's actually very good. 
I missed those shots because he dashed, unfortunately. I think I would have killed it, except for when those things dash, they're very hard to hit. I guess I just don't have that good of reflexes. Get him, get him. Ah, oh, he's too darn fast. All right, let's throw the turn over there and finish him off. Someone got it. Good job, teammates. You know, a lot of people get mad. Oh, they stole my kill. But truth is, truth is, your teammate helped you out. He came over there. He took it out. It died. It's off the battlefield. You know, red dudes, when they're dead dudes, that's a good thing. So don't get upset when your teammate comes over to kill something because sometimes that's a huge help. Sometimes that is a huge help to your team. All right. Um, they got me. My poor little Morris has died. All right, so I guess we're gonna bring in the Mr. Revenant and we're gonna see if we can stomp on this guy. All right, we are in range. Oh no, I teleported right into a guy who decided to blind me. Psh, wonderful, wonderful. Well, not really, but hey, it happens. All right, let's smash this guy. Come on out of that thing, guys, come out of that thing. So this seems to be one of those anglers that's gonna be a major pain in the buttocks and yeah, these things are terrible to deal with. Come on, okay, he's back in the stealth already. Back in the stealth. Come on, come on. Alright, so he's out of it. So I'm gonna stomp him as soon as he comes out of that thing. He's about to get stomped. Wait a second. How is he? What? Something's off with this one. He's uh, not really taking much damage and he's going right back into the ability. This is gonna be a long, drawn out, grueling fight. I can already tell. Yeah, look. Wonderful. So between the shield and the stealth and the face shift, it's gonna be impossible to take this dude out. Mr. Minos comes over. Oh, someone got the Minos. Die, Mr. Minos. Yeah. We got him. We got him. Alright, so let's go over this way. These definitely aren't the absolute very best weapons in the game, but these are very fun weapons. I like these things a lot. Still some of my favorites, especially... Oh, come on. I don't even know what got me. All right, let's bring the Titan in. And whoever that is, you're about to get stomped. We got that kill with two shots. Of course, I wasn't the only one shooting him, but that guy got beat up. That guy got beat up good. All right, so... We're going to head over this way. Let's zap some guys with our laser beams. And it looks like we currently do have control of three of the beacons, which is awesome. We definitely want those beacons. Beacons are good. And that guy back there, maybe we'll maybe we'll go after him. I'm stuck on something. There we go. I think I want to go steal that beacon in the back. There's another Seraph, so let's shoot him a few times. One thing cool is these Titan weapons can do a decent amount of damage to the Seraphs. They're actually pretty darn good, to tell you the truth. But yeah, it's not, it's not, I'm not surprised when I get 10 or 15 kills with one of these guys. I mean, usually I get 2, 3, 4, 5 kills with one of these guys, but I'm telling you, sometimes the kills with that Titan are just insane. Alright, so, yeah. 4.9, 6 kills, 6 beacons came in second place. Now, so the question bad. is, are these weapons still worth using? How good are they compared to a lot of the new stuff? And there's a bunch of old stuff that's recently been buffed that are doing great right now. So, should we still be using hammer, mace, and cudgels? I'm going to say yes. There's a lot of variety on the battlefield right now after the buffs, and there's a lot of weapons that are just as good, if not better, than these right now that are old and used to be dilapidated but now just do awesome so these may not be the world's best weapons but they're pretty darn good overall if you like to brawl and just stay up in somebody's face the entire time that's where these weapons do really good at point blank when you have the nuclear amplifier charged up and they get that blast effect these will beat some tanks up pretty quick so who are these weapons for i would say in your face up close close brawling machines <laughs> that's what you want to throw these weapons on are the brawling machines right any tank or up in your face brawler is going to love these weapons and if you play everything correctly and you've got some skills these things are going to beat up the red dudes and do very well all right well i think that's it don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to help support the channel and show your support you can hit the join button to become a monthly member there's a, a thank you button or a paypal link to donate down there in the video's description along with some Amazon links. If you buy something off the link, I get some commission plus some other cool things that you might want to check out like the Danny Lightning merch store, my Discord server, and all kinds of good stuff. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. See ya.